over the last uh, couple of months, we've seen uh, a cap on the, the uh, tax relief offered on charitable donations. Is this just a big mistake? Is it, is it a, a lack of joined up government? Or are we seeing a full reversal of the big society policy? Is, is it simply dead? Lord Wallace speaks for the government on cabinet office issues in the Lords. What's your perspective um, and take on this? Well, let me start by saying there is a tax avoidance problem. And out there, I'm a politician, um, there's a, a, a great deal of public anger about tax avoidance amongst the very rich. And that is part of what we have to respond to. The argument being made was that the combination of reliefs, other forms of loss relief, were enabling some of the very rich, and we're talking about a relatively small number, to avoid tax altogether. Lord Wallace, I mean, given, given the appalling way in which it's been handled and the, the sham charities defence and the fraudulent defence and so on and the undermining of everything that the, the coalition appears to have been doing to try and encourage the big society in the last two years, should Nick Hurd have resigned over this issue? No, and I, I mean, let's be honest, I mean, not every single charity is as public-spirited and uh, determined to spend every single penny on public benefit as every other one, and some family trusts which are... Well, uh, I, I defer to the man to my right, who is indeed in the middle of a review of the Charities Act, on which he will be reporting to the government in July, and that will give us rather better evidence of this. And then there's the charity tax relief um, debacle. The Office for Civil Society is now based in the Treasury, so George Osborne only had to pop down the corridor to get some advice about how that particular proposal would go um, down. The reasons for the measure have changed on almost a weekly basis. First it was tax avoidance, then it was an adverse European court ruling, then it was dodgy charities, and I think at the moment now it's just dodgy foreign uh, charities. The truth is that George Osborne is determined not to give way on this issue. I'm told Steve Hilton has tried to persuade him to back down, I'm told Vince Cable has tried to get him to back down. I'm told Jeremy Hunt has told him uh, he should back down. None of them have got anywhere so far. Daniela Barone Suarez, Chief Executive of the Impetus Trust. With all due respect, I think the argument is, is wrong in the way that it's been put. Because tax cap is not the way to address fraud or, or tax avoidance. Because tax fraud is intolerable. It should be zero tolerance for fraud. What you're doing with a tax cap is say, we tolerate up to 25% of fraud. <laughs> this is absolutely wrong. There is a philosophical decision by the government doing that, which is saying that no amount of relief should go to charities or to individuals, but actually should part of it should be going always to the government. Okay. That is the philosophy, and that's not what has been addressed in a constructive way, because that would be a much more engaging debate rather than the fraud, which I think muddies the water a lot. Thank you. Uh, Deborah Tyler.